Hey guys, Extremicide here with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare Best Class Setup Guide. This is a series where I share with you the absolute best setup for various guns without all the fluff and over the top information that you don't really care about. I'm a bit late getting my guides posted compared to other YouTubers with good reason. I wanted to max out every gun so I could give you all an honest and informed analysis of these guns and my attachments and loadouts for them. I may not be the first to get the info out there, but I can promise you I've done my research. But keep in mind that these are my viewpoints and maybe you will and maybe you won't agree or disagree with them. And that's fine. I won't be getting overly technical by supplying statistics in these guides. Every time Modern Warfare receives a new patch and a weapon gets buffed or nerfed, those numbers change. So I'm not going to waste my time and yours giving you information that is going to end up being inaccurate in about a month's time. I stick with the basic type of writing, yes it's good or no it sucks. With all that out of the way, let's get started. So in today's best setup, we are talking about the SA-87, a light machine gun otherwise known as an LMG. This LMG is a beast clone of what the L85 was in previous Call of Duty games. On paper, its stats are beastly, and at first glance, it looks like it's supposed to be a quicker handling light machine gun, almost like an assault rifle. Unfortunately, however, it doesn't quite live up to that. Available to use at level 24, this LMG has a low rate of fire. In fact, it's slower than all the other LMGs in the game. This slower rate of fire makes the SA-87 manageable at longer ranges, but at close ranges it struggles in comparison to the other LMGs in the game. By default, this gun has very terrible recoil, which I was able to bring it down to a light recoil rating with this setup, making the gun much more manageable to use. Overall, I would say that the SA-87 is a strange beast as far as LMGs are concerned. It doesn't really feel like an LMG, which it is, and it doesn't really feel like an assault rifle, which it looks like and tries to be. Finding a playstyle that utilizes this particular gun is hard because of its oddness. The best I could come up with is an LMG version of a running gun, and even that isn't a great fit because of its slow mobility, which in all honesty is the only part of this LMG that feels to be on par with the other LMGs in the game. In all honesty, I would have to say that the SA-87 is by far the worst LMG in the game. This setup improves upon the SA-87's accuracy and range with small hits to mobility and control. So with that said, let's take a look at my go-to loadout for this particular LMG. Alright, so let's jump right into this. First we're going to head up the muzzle, and we're going to select the monolithic suppressor. This is going to increase our damage range, and it's also going to keep our shots from showing up on the radar while in war zone. Then we're going to hop over to laser. And we're going to select the 1 milliwatt laser for more hip fire accuracy. We're choosing the 1 milliwatt over the 5 milliwatt because the 5 milliwatt is a green laser that gives away your position, especially when you're indoors and we don't want to be spotted by the enemy. Where the 1 milliwatt is a red laser and is not seen by the enemy, so this is the one we want to go with. Next, we skip over to optic, and optic is a personal choice. You can pretty much go with anything you want. For me, I like the Cronin LP945 Mini Reflex. It's, it's small, it's clean, it's just a good fit for this gun. Then we're going to jump down the underbarrel, and we're going to select the Commando Foregrip. This is going to increase our recoil stabilization and our aiming stability. And then we're going to round everything off with the ammunition, we're going to go with the 60 round mags just to give us more ammo. So now, the only thing this gun needs is the perfect loadout. Okay, so here's the deal. I was on the fence on whether or not to include the loadout that I use when leveling this gun up, but I kind of knew that if I didn't include it, someone was going to ask for it, so here it is. Now, keep in mind that this is only an example loadout, a suggested loadout, that worked well for my playstyle and my strengths. This may not necessarily be a best fit for you. Only you know what your playstyle is like and where your strengths lie. With that said, I strongly urge everyone to modify this example loadout to best suit your own gameplay style and strengths. The loadout overall is a personal thing, so make it personal to your own playstyle. And that brings us to our question of the day. 
Okay. Alrighty. So let me know your answer in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. And with that said, if anything in the video helped you out at all, then please throw the video a like. And if you want to see other videos by me, throw me a sub. Anyways, until next time, be good to one another. Extermicide out.